Hello everyone, this is Doxy Mom and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Miss Indy and we're going to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less, so let's get started. Wow, President Trump had an awesome rally last night down in Orlando. The stadium was packed, people camped out for days to get in, and some very interesting things were said. Now first, I'm going to link um, to Hidden Music page their video, because at the beginning of their video, video today, it showed the lady giving the prayer. And I love it when she said the following. Right now, let every demonic network that has aligned itself against the purpose, against the calling of President Trump, let it be broken. Let it be torn down in the name of Jesus. I mean, wow. That was awesome. And you know what, guys? If that wasn't a sign to Hillary and all these evil, evil Satanists in our government, I don't know what is. But then President Trump got up there, and when he was speaking, he happened to mention Hillary and the 33,000 emails, going as far as saying that maybe those emails could show up. Hmm. So that tells me that the White Hats they have the emails. He also talked about how they exposed classified information and how they turned the State Department into a pay-for-play cash machine. Now, the State Department is one of the 17 scandals I made a video about a while back, so you might want to go back and check that out. But after Trump's rally, I went over to Black Conservative Patriot, and I'll leave a link to his video, but BCP had up the vision and the mission of the State Department, and I just wanted to read that to you. The vision of the State Department says, On behalf of the American people, we promote and demonstrate values and advance a free, peaceful, and prosperous world. Hmm. Their mission statement says to lead foreign policy through diplomacy and assistance by advocating the interest of American people, their safety, and economic prosperity. Hmm. Now, Tom Fenton, he was on Lou Dobbs talking about the State Department, and what he said is the State Department was a key area in the anti-Trump efforts shepherding the dossier not only to the Congress, but to the Justice Department, even through Christopher Steele. So, the State Department, they just pretty much just quit doing their real jobs and started working on how to get Hillary to win, and if she lost, how to cover up all the wrongdoing. Well, Fenton goes on to say that when Barr goes to look at this, not only should he look at the DOJ, the C underscore A, the FBI, the NSA, but to look at the State Department because they are in the center of these anti-Trump efforts. Well, Mr. Fenton, I think Mr. Barr is on the job and has probably gotten your message. Then I told you yesterday in my first video about the uh, 15 people from the State Department. They were assessed for violation in breaking government rules connected to Hillary's emails. Now, many of these 15 are talking from what I understand, and the House Dems, well, they're scared. But the big story is that the State Department and the PEDO ring. Now, will this come out? I have no idea. But as long as these deep state players are in Gitmo and they can't ever hurt another one of God's precious children, I'll be satisfied. Now, before I went to bed last night, I watched Jennifer Mack's video entitled July 4th Event. Family, think you're off the meds yet? If not, they might now. You decide. It was a great video. I'll link it below, but it's a compilation of Field, Mad Dog, Juan, Kellyanne Hubbard, and George of the Anonymous Charity. Now, guys, to me, this is her best video to date. There was no way I could break all this down. Just you might want to go over and check it out because it was excellent. 
Now, for the first time in 10 years, there's going to be a fireworks show at Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills National Forest in South Dakota. Now, in 2009 was the last year they did the fireworks. Obama had it stopped. Of course he did. Now, he said it was due to a pine beetle infestation, and that may be true, I don't know, but Obama was so anti-American, he would happily have stopped the display anyway. Now, there's been a ton of security going on. They've got it all cordoned off, and from what I understand, um... Field said that a park ranger said that a person will be revealed that everyone thought had died. Hmm. Now, the president, he keeps talking about this big party in D.C. on the 4th. He's calling it a salute to America, and he claims he'll be making a speech at the Lincoln Memorial but the park ranger is talking about the big reveal at Mount Rushmore. Then I read a CBS News report saying that there's a lot of confusion about this party in D.C. At first, they didn't know where it was going to be held. And then they said that no security meetings had taken place, which is very odd. Also, that security is going to be a nightmare in D.C. because Trump haters could really mess everything up. Now, guys, I could be completely wrong on this, but could President Trump maybe be going to Mount Rushmore to reveal JFK Jr. there? Well, we know the security is going to be in place, and to me, it makes much more sense. And you know they're talking about this media blackout somewhere between June 23rd and July 3rd. They still don't know if it's just going to be partial uh, mainstream media blackout or social media blackout. But if the media was, media was blacked out, President Trump could easily get on a plane and fly to South Dakota and no one would even know about it. Guys, I don't know. But if I could travel, I think I'd be heading to South Dakota for July 4th. I looked up Black Hills Vacations, and I'll leave a link for them. But they're having parades, a car show, and a week-long rodeo. Now, being a former barrel racer, the rodeo is where I love to be. So it's good family-oriented entertainment. Guys, I have no idea what's going to happen, but whatever is going to happen... It's going to be exciting, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, Mark Meadows tweeted out. He said, let's declassify the documents and find out once and for all what everyone knew and when they knew it about FISA targeting and the collusion hoax. Comey, Clapper, McCabe, Mueller, President Obama, everyone give Americans the truth. Well, in my opinion, Mark Meadows, he is going to go down in history as a true hero and patriot, unlike his counterpart from North Carolina, Richard Burr. Anyway, now today I was looking at the feds, and apparently they did not lower the interest rates. But when I was looking to see if they had lowered the rates, I found a New York Times article. Now, is it just me, or does it upset anybody else when they call our President Trump Mr. Trump? Guys, I just think this is totally disrespectful. And, you know, President Trump is our duly elected president who has been fighting the deep state every single day for probably the past three years, maybe even longer. We should call him by his rightful title because you know what? He has certainly earned it. Now, I'm going to close out with a tweet from that lovely young man, Charlie Kirk, over there at Turning Point USA. And this is what he said. He says, we are so lucky to have Trump as our president. We must do everything we can to get him reelected. He has fought for us. We must fight for him. And that is so very true, isn't it? Well, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. So this is Doxy Mom, and until next time, 
God bless you all.